Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial. In this video we are going to create a really nice headpop system for our great FPS games. This tutorial is the part 2 of our first person shooter series in Unity 3D, but you can use every tutorial as an individual and integrate these systems into your own game without any dependencies. Make sure to join my Discord server to get access to all the scripts and real-time support. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for many amazing upcoming content. Now without any further ado, let's jump into Unity and create our headbox system. Alright, first thing first, make sure to create an empty game object and make the camera child of it and name this camera pivot. Now make the whole thing the child of the main character and then create a C-sharp script and name this one maybe headbop system. Inside the C-sharp script, create a function named check for headbop trigger and call it on update loop. This is a very simple function where it will look for any player input on keyboard and then triggers the actual method which is starting the headbop system. So if player input.magnitude is greater than zero, then we have to start headbop, which consists of these lines of code where we simply create a vector3 called position. Because we are going to change the camera's x and y's position in a loop and tic tac style. Then we will simply tell that position.y and position.x plus equals math.lerp between current position of each axis and sine and cosine respectively for each one then multiplying them by frequency, amount, and the smooth value which are public flows for controlling the amount of headbub. Now by adding the position to transform.local position of our camera, and finally returning the position which we extracted already, we can start to see our headbub effect in the simplest way possible. Okay, it's working perfectly, but what about resetting the camera's position if player releases the keys on keyboard? For now, if player do that, this will happen. Where the final position of camera will be considered as the current position. We can simply fix that by adding an extra function called stop headbob, which will simply lurping between the current position of camera and the initial position of it where we store and cache in start method. So this way we will have the camera back to its initial position smoothly after releasing the keys on keyboard. Alright everyone, with all that being said, we made a simple and basic headbop system for our FPS games. For the next parts, we will add footstep system and also making the headbop more realistic and dynamic. So make sure to stay tuned. Also, don't forget to join my Discord server to get access to all the scripts and real-time support for my contents on YouTube. Stay safe, and until the next one, cheers!